we are going to launch our app from our real device but the app would be connected in the back end now back end is in our local host which is our computer so this is not one to seven so you have to get this on and how to get this now if you're on Mac go to the settings and then come to the network section if you don't know how to go so in this case this would be the network section click on this and over here this is the address that you want to use okay now this address go ahead and copy that okay so once you copy you need to put over here right over here and after that actually you can have any kind of port that you want to open your backend server because remember our app depends on backend right so if we don't start our backend it's not going to work so this is the first thing you have to go now if you're a windows user you have to do this command if you're a windows user actually you need to use this command in the terminal ip config ip config so in general it should give you ip address 4 and go ahead and use the first one so there they all start with actually 192 since they're localhost IP address so go ahead and get the first one where it says that IP address 4 okay so go ahead and get that copy that and put your port right after it so for Windows it's the same thing just get it and put it here then you're good to go and after that you're gonna hit it over here now as you see it says that over here we can visit our server in this link so go ahead and click that you can click open now you see our backend opened in 192.168 and we can access this in our browser that also means that actually we would be able to access that on our mobile phone but of course uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to access this on mobile phone so I'm going to connect my mobile phone with this Mac so right now my mobile phone is connected so I'm going to copy this and after copying this so this is the local host link which is hosting Laravel so I'm going to click on this and open it so it means that actually we can access our Laravel which is hosted in real which is hosted in local host but we are accessing it from real world from real world device on our mobile phone right so it means it's working now it's time to test this with our app okay now we know that our app itself depends on a server URL right find that file and this is what I'm just going to put now what is this server API URL this is the one that we have seen earlier over here so this is exactly the same address and the port right okay so what I'm going to do open it up now I'm going to connect this Android Studio with our real iPhone. So this is the real iPhone, right? That's my iPhone. And then I'm going to connect it and start it, okay? And now here we'll see that it says it's starting on Ahmed's iPhone. So it's starting there. So we are waiting for it. Okay, here we go. Our app is launching and this is hopefully it should work. Okay, now it's st still in... Uh, the mode uh, which was onboarding screen but looks like it directly jump back to our message page now I'm gonna click on this over here which I did and I'm going to log out actually so as you can see you can see it in real life real view now I'm going to log in again uh, and over here I'm going to choose my Gmail account now remember everything over here is happening from my real device okay so this is my real device and if we have any log over here you will also see that so yes we didn't have any error and we are connected okay so once again so to prove that it's from my real device so you can see this is my real iPhone and actually this is the app that we are doing okay now I'm gonna come over here this chatting section I'm going to select this guy and we'll see if we have any messages or not and then I'm going to click on this if we do that actually we are going to connect to our local host actually we already did that remember we just logged in so that we connected to our local host from our real device right and then I'm going to click on this button over here right now this is this, this is the chatting button 
and we see that over here it's a disconnect which means that over here we are actually connected right actually connected in the chatting room so this is a new user id that's been generated okay 